Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Marcos. Hello, Ruth. Hello, uh, Raul. Welcome. Hello, Maria. Hello, Irma. Hello, hello. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Marco. How was your day? It was good. Some did quiet, you, but good. What did you do today? Well, let me see. I read something and I took a lessons of a course that I am doing right now that I enrolled some time. Oh time really? Ago. Oh really? Yes. What 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 courses are you taking? Well it's a course called uh, think again how to understand argument is about art argue okay all right so it's like debating like a like a debate yes something like that okay awesome awesome and um what is the book about how long have you been reading the book well um well um the course is well, the course has some transcriptions in English, so I download the transcriptions and I read, I take the words I understand, I look for the meaning of those words and I make a mini, uh, how do you say, resume? Summary. I'll, Summary. Af yes, after I read, those transcriptions, I will do a little summary about it. Okay, okay. And um, how long do you normally read? Well, like the, the lessons is around three until five pages. So I read those quantity, three pages oh, okay. per day. Okay. Because the, okay. the content is sometimes complex, but I like it. Okay, that's the important thing. That's the important thing. Things that come easy are not that good. Things that come difficult are good. Good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Um, hello, Raul. Hello, Irma. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, thanks. How was your day? How was your day? Sorry, but the the audio is is bad for me. Oh, okay, that's okay. It's frozen. Okay, that's all right. Uh, thank you, Irma. Hello, Saul. Hello, Maria. Hello, Carla. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, you? welcome. Very good, very good. How was your day? Awesome day. What did you very... do today? Hard day, very hard day. For really, me. <laughs> really? Why? Why? What happened? I do too many stuff. I did too many stuff for <laughs> okay. for, my, for my work. All right, all right. A lot of work, a lot of money. That's good. That's good. Hello, Juan Carlos. Welcome. Welcome, Carla. Welcome, Thank Jacqueline. You. Hi. Hi. Good Hello, evening. Teacher. How are you? How good are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? How was your day? I am driving. Oh, driving. You're going home from work. Okay. All right. I'm a little tired. Why? Why are you tired? Because I work at <laughs> I work at so much. That's good. That's good. Well, today is Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to be here with you. I hope that all of you had an awesome day. I had a great day. I went swimming. I uh, went to the gym. I had a, a very relaxed day. 
and a very profitable day. I would like for us to get started. Uh, I would like to hear what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? We studied some adjective and comparative enough and two. Very good, Maria. Could you give me an example uh, using enough or two in a sentence, please? Uh, my bathroom is not uh, is not dark enough to take a nap during the day. Okay, very good. My bedroom is not dark enough to take a nap during the day. Good, good. Yes, Adriana, you had an example. Yes, um, the kitchen in my house is very expensive. It's All right. Example. Good. The kitchen in my house is very expensive. Thank you. All right. Another example. Somebody that can describe a room in their house. Describe a room in your house. Yes, Ruth. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my uh, kitchen is little, very little. Okay, all right. My kitchen is very little. Good example, good example. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else that wants to give an example? My garden is enough small for for have pets in my in my house. Okay, all right. You could say my garden is not big enough to have pets my garden is not big enough to have pets okay good good all right guys we're gonna go ahead and uh take a look at the next activity on the platform we're gonna be moving forward and we're gonna be taking a look at section number three section number three take time comparisons and we're going to look at knowledge check right here knowledge check knowledge check section number 3.5 in the platform uh, let me have one volunteer. I want you to read the question and the answer. Ruth. The answer is, in my opin opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartment in my neighborhood. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Ruth. Number two, Maria. My neighborhood neighborhood's house has five bedrooms, but my house isn't as big uh, as his. Isn't as big as his. Good job, good job. Carla, number three, Wendy, number four. I don't like to live in apartments because they don't have as many rooms as houses. They don't have as many rooms as houses. Good. Excellent. 
excellent. And the last one, Wendy, number four. My new house doesn't have as much space as my old house. Perfect. Perfect. So, doesn't have much. Oh, sorry about that. As much space as my old house. Okay, perfect. Excellent, guys. At this moment, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about this pronunciation? Questions, questions? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is expressing wishes and desires. Expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson from English teacher Jose Sainz explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't. ¿Qué es ese ruido que se escucha, guys? Escuchan un ruido. ¿O soy yo? Sí, se escucha interferencia. Ok, ya no se escucha, ¿verdad? Ok, gracias. Ok, thank you. Eh, ¿Por dónde vamos? Ok, eh, I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. Ok, quiero que vean los tres ejemplos. I wish I didn't live with my parents. Ok. Eh, deseo no tener que vivir con mis padres. Eh, I wish I had a different job. Deseo quisiera tener un trabajo diferente. I wish I were thinner. <laughs> Deseo quisiera ser más delgado. Eh, me río porque soy yo toda la vida. <laughs> the, this lesson includes an oral language. Eh, quiero que noten algo que las tres oraciones tienen en común. ¿Quién me puede decir qué es lo que tienen en común las tres oraciones? I wish. Ok. Tienen el verbo wish, I wish, uh -huh. ¿qué más? The very best. Very good, María. The verb in past, right? So that's very important because you're going to say, Mr. Santos, why is the verb in the past if it's not talking about a, a, a past? experience. Mm -hmm. So this is what we call the exception. Esto es lo que le llamamos la ex excepción. When you are expressing wishes, wishes. Uh, it's a uh, imaginary, it's not real, right? It's something that you imagine. So if we try to translate in Spanish, it doesn't make sense, right? Si tratas de traducirlo al español, no tiene sentido. Because in Spanish, it, the structure doesn't exist. En español no existe esta estructura. En español, tú dices, ah, como quisiera tener un helicóptero. Y todas las mañanas saltarme el tráfico. Right? Estás usando la estructura simple present. Right? Como quisiera tener. It's a simple present. But 
But in English, it's different. In English, you say, I wish. Por ejemplo, tú dices, yo quisiera ser más alto. Tú vas a decir, I wish I were. El verbo to be were en pasado. Taller. Okay. I wish I were a millionaire. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Were. Del ser estar. Y está en pasado. Eh, quisiera ganarme la lotería. I wish I won the lottery. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Won. Es el verbo en pasado de win. Right. Eh, quisiera tener un Ferrari. I wish I had a Ferrari. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Have. Es el, had. Had es el pasado de have. 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 So, es la excepción, guys. All right. Tiene que eh, romper esos blocks, right? Que si no encaja in the Spanish grammar, ¿no entiende? No. This is another language. So, rompemos eso. Nos les desligamos de eso. Entendemos que English is one grammar, Spanish is another grammar. So, nunca va a encajar. Yes, Ruth. Teacher, es decir que cuando uno hace eh, esa expresión en deseo, va acompañado del verbo en pasado. Correct. That is okay. correct. El verbo I wish está en presente. Uh -huh. Y de allí el verbo principal es, está en pasado. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Excelente. Another question, another question, somebody. Questions, questions, questions. So teacher, so does, he, does he mix it to, with the railer, railer bears? Uh-huh, it doesn't make sense. Does it make sense? If you start thinking uh, translation, you're gonna say, hey, th this doesn't make sense. Right, yeah. it, because in, in Spanish, this structure doesn't exist. So it's what we call an exception. It's una excepción, right? Si tú dices, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, quisiera ser más alto, ¿cómo lo vas a decir? More taller. So, yeah. ¿Cómo lo vamos a decir? I ah. wish I... Were I like I, I were, wish I were wish I were more taller. No, solo taller. I wish I were taller. No I ponemos el more porque tall es la adjetivo. Tall. Okay. Taller el er ya es como quien dice más alto. Taller. Oh er. yeah 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 exactly. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Digamos, si quiero decir, eh, quisiera ser más delgado. ¿Cómo lo voy a decir? I wish I, uh -huh. I, I wish. were I were uh, thinner. 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 Very good. I wish I were thinner. Eh, ¿Cómo voy a decir? Quisiera tener un Ferrari o un Corvette o un Lamborghini, o con un Charger me conformo. <laughs> I wish I... Uh, I, ha I, I wish ha I, I had... had uh -huh. I had, have, uh, have uh, or had? I had a Maserati. Oh. <laughs> I, I were very good, Saul. I wish I had a Maserati. <laughs> Italian car. Good, good. All yeah. right. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Quisiera ser millonario. I wish. I wish. I wish I were. I wish I, I, wish I were a millionaire. Uh, good, good, good. I wish I were a millionaire. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? 
quisiera viajar alrededor del mundo. I wish I... I wish I, I would travel. Very good. Around I wish I traveled around the world. Good, Wendy. Good. All right. Vemos que... Hi. Una pregunta. Yes. Eh, no sé si usted alguna vez escuchó la, la expresión de una película que era el violinista en el tejado, algo así. Pero ah. él decía, if I were a rich man. Ah, if I were a rich man. Es que, ah, la, 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 la. Ajá, <risa> yeah. Sí, Ajá. Eh, es, esa es el equivalente del I wish. Tú puedes decir, I wish I were. O es como... Dijeras, por ejemplo, tú dices, si fuera millonario, <risa> viviera en un bote en el Caribe. Right? Ahí sería, if, I, if, if I were, if I were a millionaire, I would live in a yacht in the Caribbean islands next to Puerto Rico, next to Dominican Republic, you know, dancing samba and, and all that. Salsa, yeah. Okay, yeah. entonces se puede usar ambas. Correcto. Es que el if, if es sí. También. Pero no de afirmación, sino de palabras. Sí, y lleva la misma estructura. El verbo va en simple past. Okay. Okay, usted, teacher. Usted puede decir, if I were a millionaire, o oh, ah, okay. I wish I were a millionaire. Siempre okay. el verbo va en simple past. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good, good. Thank you, Ruth. Another question. Another question. All right. Let's finish watching the video, and then we will talk about it. Ah, si ni hemos empezado el video. Bueno, esto es para que tengan una idea que con el I wish, el verbo siempre va en pasado. Como vemos aquí, had, were. Aquí está live en el simple present porque está en negativo. Didn't. So aquí está el pasado. En didn't. En el auxiliar. Pero eso es solamente cuando es negativo. El auxiliar lleva el pasado. Can everybody hear? If everybody hear. Career and yeah. health. For example, you'll yes. be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, What I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting this structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, 
if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier, or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now the subject could be you again or it could be another person, right? I wish I and then the verb in its past form. So in this case it happens to be that it's on a negative form so we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't and then whatever compliment, right? Didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom after which where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish, and the subject again, life, where, easier. Uh, and of course, you can make that in a negative statement. I wish. life weren't so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So. I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right?
what kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example. Okay, guys. Now, uh, for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to give me a couple of examples uh, expressing your wishes and desires. Right. This is a uh, hypothetical situations, so you don't have. You can invent your sentences. I shared with you um, wish list: my bedroom, my school or job, my appearance, my family, my possessions, my skills. So you're going to write some examples and you're going to share them with your partners. You're going to express. What are your wishes for your bedroom? What are your wishes for your, um, if you want to have a business? What are your wishes if you, uh, your personal life, your relationship? Uh, you can talk about your abilities and uh, things like that. And then when you finish, you will share your conversation with the class. Van a trabajar en pareja y van a expresar cuáles son sus deseos para su habitación, trabajo, eh, maybe your body, if you want to go to the gym, eh, your personal life, your relationships, your family, eh, maybe you want to put a business, quiere poner un negocio, eh, something like that. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, can you meet now? Huh? I can't do meet now. Okay, that's okay. Solo los que pueden. Los que no pueden, pueden esperar acá. Thank you. All right. Uh, Claudia Maria and Jacqueline Rebecca. Hola, teacher. Ah, no pudo ingresar. Okay. Me sacó, me regresó, fíjese. Okay, practique con... Aquí está Saúl. Uh, puede practicar oh, con uh, Juan Carlos, Roberto, Jacqueline, Carlos Alberto, Noemi y Claudia Maria. Pueden trabajar en grupo. Okay. okay. Eh, necesitan ayuda. The screenshot for the examples. Eh, I sent the screenshot to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Thanks. Yes. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Vamos a poner okay. a Wendy acá porque Wendy está sola. Ya viene Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Hi, Wendy. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, aquí está Ruth. Aquí está Irma. Está Marco Antonio y Adriana. 
Okay. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. Let me have Saul. Saul, what do you wish for your life? I wish I had my own business teacher. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And what kind of business would you like? Um, I like um, this. What do you say? Commercial. Um, commercial. How do you say? Commercial. Commercial, uh, co the, 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 co commercial business? Yeah, commercial. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you, Saul. Okay, guys, uh, I got to take the attendance. Please say present when I call your name. Adriana. Present. Excellent. This one is 27, 27. Present, okay. Uh, Carlos. Present. Good. Claudia. Present, teacher. Excellent. Doribel. 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 Absent. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Absent. Herbert. Herbert. Present. Excellent. Thank you, Herbert. Irma. Present. Very good. Isabo. Isabo. Present, teacher. Good job. Jacqueline Guevara. Jacqueline Guevara. Eh, veo que está aquí una Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Creo que es ella, ¿verdad? Jacqueline Guevara, can you hear me? Elizabeth? Okay. Um, Jacqueline Cermello. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Cubillas. Present teacher. Good job. Juan Maravilla. I'm here, teacher. Awesome. Perla. Present teacher. Thank you. Leana. Present teacher. Good job, Luis. Luis. Luis Fernando. Eh, absent. 
Marco Quijano. Present. Excellent. Marco Ramirez. Present teacher. Good job. Maria. Present teacher. Very good. Marina. Marina Martinez. Absent. Noemi Lopez. Present teacher. All right. Raul. Present teacher. Excellent. Rene. I am here, teacher. Good job. Roberto. Absent. Ruth. Here, teacher. Awesome. Saul. Present. Thank you, yeah. Wendy. Wendy. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Wendy. So we got absent Roberto, Marina, Luis, Esmeralda, Doribel, five people absent. All right. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at section 3.8. Section 3.8. Instructions, read and listen to the following conversation and answer the question. Let's listen to the conversations. Making changes. Part A. Listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah. Parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Making Changes Part A. Listen and Practice So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Okay, who can tell me what is the meaning of free room and board? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Free room and board. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Free room and board. Eh, básicamente es eh, room donde vivir, board donde dormir, basically. Porque le dice, ¿por qué no te vas de tu casa si tantas son las ganas? ¿Dónde más voy a tener dónde comer y dónde vivir de gratis? <ríe> Casi nada lo detiene. <ríe> Así sí, ni yo me fuera. <ríe> All right. Uh, it's a joke. It's a joke, guys. Uh, let's check it out. Number one, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer that would like, to, okay, Ruth. Hey, number one, what kind of wishes does Terry have? 
he was wishes he had his own apartment and that life was so difficult. Very good, very good. He wishes okay. he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. Vaya, vamos a ver quiénes entienden esta frase. He wishes he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. So Terry vive con los papás y dice que la vida es difícil. ¿Quiénes viven solo? Who lives alone? Solo yo. I live with my, my own family. Okay, you live with your own family. Maria? I live uh, only with my baby. Okay, all right. Wendy? I uh, I live with my family. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, se ve bonito de afuera para adentro, right? Oh, quiero vivir solo, quiero vivir solo. But when you're living alone, you got to wash the dishes, wash the clothes, sweep and mop the floor, fold the clothes, cook, eh, everything, pay, pay the bills. I mean, y afuera para adentro, oh, I want to live alone. Pero ya en el puesto, hmm, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. Right. It's challenging. It's, it's difficult. Yeah. So, Terry, y, y Terry siente difícil. Imagine cuando viva solo. Hmm? Ahí sí, lo va a ver bonito. Okay, number two. What kind of wishes does Brian have? One volunteer. What? Wendy. Carla, number three. What what kind of wishes does Brian have? He wishes that he worked somewhere else in a, and live somewhere more exciting. Excellent. Good job. Uh, good pronunciation as well. Carla, number three. Um, rewrite the, the following sentence using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. Laura wishes she had some free time. Good. Laura wishes she had some free time. Good job. Uh, number four. Last one. Number four. <laughs> number four. Me estoy riendo, guys, porque me acabo de acordar que mañana es miércoles y los miércoles me toca que madrugar extra porque me toca lavar. ¿Quieren escuchar cuál es mi alarma? Literalmente, se las voy a poner para que digan, para que vean que es not easy. A las cinco y media, listen to my alarm. Get up and wash, 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 get up and wash. Get up and wash. That's my alarm. Because if I don't do that, I hear the alarm and I go to sleep. But if it says get up and wash, I said, oh, okay, I got to get up and go wash. <laughs> yeah, that's the reality. That's the reality of living alone. No mommy, no nothing. Go and do it yourself. That's it. Okay, number four. Yes, Root. Is Dan wishes he could, could fit into his old jeans? Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Yes. Excellent. Right. Le sale más barato comprar new jeans. <laughs> okay. All right. Any questions in regards to this information? Questions about this information? Questions about the use of wish? 
uh, questions about the grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, something. Questions, questions, somebody. Nobody? Okay. All right, guys, it looks like we have finished section three. Yay! Which is good. Uh, we're advancing quickly, which is very good. So let's go ahead and move forward to the next section. For the next section, we're going to be looking at the midterm exam. ¿Quiénes ya hicieron o ya empezaron a hacer el midterm exam? Midterm exam. Wendy, okay. Ruth, excellent. All right, Carla, good, good. All right, Claudia, Maria, excellent. Jacqueline, Rebecca, good. Okay, veo que varios ya lo empezaron a hacer. Marco Antonio, good. Okay, all right. Uh, I would like for you to work in pairs. Uh, the people that already did it help the people that haven't. You understand? The people that already did it help the people that haven't. Ready? Let's go. You have five minutes. Uh, si no pudo entrar a los breakout rooms, you can work with the people that are here. Uh, Roberto. Irma. Let's practice, practice, practice. Okay, we got Irma, we got Leanna. Leanna and Irma. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Hello, yes. Hello, teacher. All right, go ahead. Well, we're about to finish because it's almost time to go. Yeah. Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No. I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? 
Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. All right, let me have one volunteer, number one. Uh, Tom grew up in? San Ruth. Diego. San Diego, good job. And number two, Saul Carroll used to. Saul Carroll used to. Leave a comment. Teacher, uh, una pregunta. La número uno no es San Francisco? Yeah, it's San Francisco. It's, uh, oh, San Francisco? I'm Sorry about that. Too. Sorry about that. Ya estoy dormido. My bad. I'm sorry. No. San Francisco. Thank yeah. you. Sorry about that. All right. Number two. Carol used to? Read comic books. Read comic books. Number three. Uh, uh, Carla. Is there enough parking downtown? Very good. According to Helen... There isn't enough parking downtown. Hey, Wendy, the last one. Anna can enjoy a carpool by calling a phone number. By calling a phone number. Anna can join a carpool by calling a phone number. Hey, miren que cool este. Saben que es un carpool? Yes. Ok, eh, les voy a contar una anécdota real. En Houston y, hicieron un carril que era estrictamente para carpool, donde más que una persona tenía que ir en ese carro para poder viajar en ese carril. Pero se tenía que pagar como una cora, dos coras. So un señor uh, puso un maniquí next to him. Y todos los días pasaba por el, eh, por el booth, pagando las dos coras, el toll, le dicen el toll booth. Y el security dice que él decía, hey, ¿por qué ese nunca dice buenos días y nunca se mueve y, y siempre anda la misma ropa? So un día lo detuvieron en el highway y vieron que era un maniquí que llevaba con él que no era un, una persona. Ya, yeah, le suspendieron la licencia seis meses por hacer eso. Uh, uh, después él tenía que andar haciendo el carpool porque ya no podía manejar. That's a true story. That's a true story in Texas. Ya, yeah. que fuera chivo que hicieran eso aquí, ¿verdad? Hacer un, un carril solo de carpool. Para reducir el traffic. What I want. All right, guys. Time to go. Have a good night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.
Mañana a madrugar a lavar ropa. That's teacher right. me puso Esmeralda. asistencia a mí. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Hey, vamos a ver, Esmeralda. Es que el audio me está fallando un poco. Ok, let me see. Give me a second. Voy a abrir la página de la asistencia. Y nos vamos a... 9 to 10, 9 to 10. Y nos vamos a Esmeralda Isabel. Ah, no, le puse ausente. Ok, presente Esmeralda. Thank you. Ok, bye teacher. All right, bye bye. Good night.